Nowadays, marriage is being misunderstood and relationships are falling apart. We have to understand deeply why is attraction between two people temporary? And what is that that really unites two persons? Why is the feeling of love just not enough? Let's hear Daskalos, this enlightened human being, and let's see what he tells us about it. I said, the sexual intercourse is not joining two people, a male and a female. But the soul connection. So this cannot last on the material plane, more than a few years. Forever? No. So it is attraction and repulsion, attraction and repulsion, attraction and repulsion, till the time that there is the attraction that remains one. That means the one enter in the oneness of the other. They can never enter in the oneness of God unless the one is entering the oneness of his companion, let us call it companion. So, so that a family to be blessed, so not only just the priest just reciting things that binds to people, but their hearts, love. So God is uniting two people is the love on the higher realms, on the psychical and the noetical. Now, psychical and the noetical. Is it not the same thing? No. They may be united in the psychical world, feeling the one loves the other, be in union as two beings, male and female, that means loving each other, but there will not be any understanding amongst them, between them and amongst the other people. So it's not knowingly to be united to human beings, a man and a woman, in the psychical plane, but also in the identical plane. There must be what we call understanding each other, the one living for the other, and especially for the children, because they complete now this circle according to the will of God of creation. They become co-creators with God. So the union is not only in the cross-material plane, it should be also in the psychical plane and in the noetical plane. This is the marriage which you find in the gospel proposed by Joshua the Christ as a sacred union. And if Joshua Manor declares that one should love any other human being as himself, would that be an exception with the fellow that he becomes co-creator with God? So this should be studied seriously, the sacredness of the married life. 